The North Country Chamber of Commerce hosted a virtual community meeting this week for businesses to help them think about ways to capitalize on the solar eclipse happening on April 8, 2024, and the potential crowds that may be coming to the Adirondacks in North Country to experience it. And in some communities, like Tupper Lake, visitors will receive special VIP treatment to make their viewing experience even more memorable. This will be one of the biggest events the Adirondack Observatory has ever hosted. Our Jack LaDuke has more. Students and parents arrived at the Tupper Lake Sky Observatory recently for an opportunity to be left in the dark. The reason for being there was in preparation for the upcoming total eclipse of the sun, April 8, 2024. The spectacular solar event will happen next spring. Everything will darken, roosters may crow. Light will return after the moon has obliterated the sun. One Franklin County town with a sky observatory and rollback roof, better for stargazers, is excited about the upcoming eclipse. Tupper Lake is uh, very close to the path of totality. So uh, we're expecting large crowds here because we are very close to the center of that path of totality. And we're gonna have one of the longest lengths of totality in the Adirondacks. We'll be at three minutes and 33 seconds right in Tupper Lake. And that's a very long amount of time. As you get closer to the edges uh, of the uh, eclipse, that time shrinks, and it may only be a few seconds or less than a minute. But right in the center of totality, that's where people like to come to experience that three minutes and 33 seconds, where it'll get super dark and uh, all sorts of phenomenon uh, in nature will occur. Tupper Lake is positioned well for the heavenly spectacular. Telescope-bearing tourists and astronomers will focus their long lenses on the moon's movement. We're expecting, Jack, a lot of people because we're sort of at the epicenter of this eclipse, I'm told. And uh, that means we have to coordinate with our police department in coordination with the New York State Police because there'll be an influx of people here already. I'm told there's nothing you can rent for that, that week. All of the village departments, public works, everybody's going to be on standby and on overtime to try and accommodate the crowds that are going to be here. This observatory evolved in a move to increase tourism from polluted skies and cities like New York, Boston, Montreal, and more. With us being a post-industrial community, we had a, we had a mill here that would produce uh, originally wooden spoons and bowls. Uh, which was the OWD. Later on, it became a plastics plant where they did plastic molding injection. Uh, that's since gone away. So all of our industries have kind of dwindled away here in the Adirondack Park. And uh, we've got a lot, of, a lot of natural environment here that we can capitalize on. One of the things that we didn't hear a lot of as far as the environment was concerned is our, is our night sky that we have here. And we capitalized on that. We decided that uh, what, it, what a great idea it would be to have an observatory here that the public could come to and uh, have access to all these expensive pieces of equipment here on a Friday night and get to see something that they might never ever see. The clutches of winter could still be with us in April when the eclipse happens. So what we really want to do is make sure that there, people are, you know, have a great location to watch and safely view the eclipse. Um, together, you know, April 8th in the Adirondacks is a very interesting time. Weather can be very variable. We could be, you know, under snow, ice, flooding, um, a variety of things. Um, this year, April 8th was gorgeous. But, you know, to put it in perspective, I was skiing at Whiteface that day. So um, as travelers come up and they think of spring, maybe from downstate, April in downstate New York is much different than April 8th in the Adirondacks. If weather does not cooperate, the dark sky town has plan B. Jumbotron screens will be located in the village park, transmitting live. NASA will send pictures of the eclipse taking place from clearer locations. Additional activity will also be going on in the park and nearby Wild Center. 
The observatory has ordered 100,000 pair of special sunglasses to safely look at the eclipse with. And NASA is training local students how to use the glasses, and they'll be passing that information on to the public. People will leave with a sense of awe. Wow, that was amazing. And uh, my hopes and prayers are, of course, that it's clear and we get to see the corona of the sun and we get the experience of night, midday. But uh, I think people will leave with awe and excitement and, oh my God, when's the next one? Tupper Lake has the clearest skies around and for good reason. Street lamps were retrofitted recently, and light shines down, not polluting the sky. Astronomers love a dark night sky. Tupper Lake is offering the best out of this world view of the upcoming eclipse next spring. For Mountain Lake Journal, I'm Jack LeDuc in Tupper Lake.